back to my channel everybody uh today's video is gonna be a super super fun video what i'm going to do today is a concept a challenge i guess you can say a trend um that i came across it was in my mind i thought about this and i'm like i'm pretty sure somebody's done this before so i searched it up and yes people have done it before but it's a uh, palette bingo so essentially what i'm going to do is use a random wheel that the when the wheel is going to spin going to pick a palette and then from that palette I use a general random number generator to pick a number and then that's the shade from that palette that I would use. It's going to be super super fun. I want you guys to grab a snack. I want you guys to get comfy and let's see what I come up with. Um, and I'm thinking about tweaking this challenge just a little bit. Um, so what I did was I had my youngest daughter to pick these palettes. She picked eight because the wheel that I chose had eight slots. So I had her to go in there and just randomly, not randomly, well, yeah. She looked at my collection. I told her to pick eight and she found these eight palettes. I have them right here already. Um, I'm excited. I'm scared because she likes glitter and she likes dark shades. So a lot of the palettes that she picked, she saw glitter in one or a really dark shade in it that she liked. And so I don't know what this this eye look is going to end up looking like, but I thought it would be fun to do a two part video. So if you guys um, are subscribed to my channel and you've been watching my videos, you know that I have videos up on my channel now where my children literally did my makeup and they picked their own products. They did my makeup and I looked crazy. This is like a second part of that. So I'm letting all of my children do this again where they're they're actually the ones picking the palette. So if you guys are excited to see what's gonna happen today on my eyes, what will be created today, then make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell because I think I'm going to start doing these trends a little bit more. I find myself having a lot more fun creating videos for you guys when I do things of this nature. So I don't want you guys to miss out on that. So make sure you hit the notification bell and I'm done rambling. Let's jump into the video. I have my eight palettes here. And so what I'm going to do, I have my daughter's phone. I'm going to hit the wheel. We're going to get our palette and then I'm going to do the random number and then that's the shade that we'll use so I hope you guys can see it so the palettes that I have first let me name the palettes she did pick these all by herself we have the Too Faced Just Peachy palette uh, she picked this ColourPop palette that I curated myself um, I think this was a curated one that they, well, they chose these colors themselves, but it has pressed glitter. So this is what I'm talking about. She saw glitters. We have that. She chose the Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Celestial <laughs> Thunder Palette, which is a super pretty palette. And these are the colors. So I'm excited. Um, the Morphe 35 XO Palette. She chose the BH, BH Cosmetics Ultimate Neutral Palette. So thank God I got some brown transitions. I hope that this, it lands on this so I at least know I got a transition to go by. She chose the Violet Boss Essentials 2 Palette. And lastly, she chose, not in this order, but I'm just saying this is the last one that I picked up, the Boxy Charm Hello Charmers palette. She saw glitter <laughs> and she was like, yeah. So those are the palettes that we are going to be choosing from today. And let's get into it. And I just chose a random wheel, like nothing spectacular, just the first random one that I picked. So we'll spin. Let's see what we got. The Morphe 35 Congress. Oh my God, typo. 35O palette. So the first palette that we will be using is the Morphe 35 uh, XO palette. And then we're going to do the random number uh, thing. And I know that it's 35 shades in here. So I'll hit 
I'll change that max number. I hope you guys can see this to 35. And then we'll hit generate number 15. So let's remember number 15 is going to be from the, I probably should write this down, huh? I don't know. <laughs> We're doing, you're doing this with me. I don't, I don't really know like the order in which I should be doing that, but Morphe is the palette that we'll be using. I'm gonna spin again. And <laughs> BH Cosmetics Ultimate Neutrals. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, random number. The BH Cosmetics has 42 shades. So, I'll hit that max to 42. And we'll hit generate. And number 24. So, number 15. Uh, number 24 cool and i'm only going to do four out of the eight so we're already down to two um let's hit the wheel again so far i think the look is going to actually look like something oh, what did it land on two face just peachy cool okay we're getting somewhere Thank you with this look, because I was scared. We have not yet got a glitter, I don't think. Hopefully, that number 15 in the Morphe uh, XO, 35XO is not uh, the glitter shade. I can't remember exactly how many shades are in this Just Peachy. 12, okay, so 12 shades. Let's generate. Number eight. So we got number 15, number 24, number eight. And our last palette that we're choosing from. And if I get a duplicate, of course, I'm going to spin the wheel again. Wow. <laughs> wow. The Dominique's Cosmetics Celestial Thunder. Now let's see what shade we will be using. The Dominique Cosmetics, I think, has eight. Yep, eight shades. So we'll change this to eight. And let's hit generate number two. So number 15, number 24, number eight, I think, and number two. Yeah. Okay. Does this have a history? It does not. It does not. Okay. So. I think we got it. So now let's jump into the video. I'm back. I had to grab uh, some eyeshadow brushes and I was just like, write down these numbers because you're going to forget. So I wrote them down. Now I know. So the first palette that we're going to go into is the Morphe palette. And I'm going to go across. So the number was 15. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Whew is this shade right here. This dark um, neutral brown shade. I'm gonna have to use this palette as the um, mirror. So, of course, I'm going to take that into my crease. Dust it off. And I prime my eyes um, for this video. Normally, y'all know I don't prime my eyes, but I did prime it for this video just so that the colors will show up really nice. When I'm just doing like reviews or try-ons, first impressions, you know, I really don't use um, eyeshadow primer or anything like that. But for this video, I just decided I would. So that's my transition. Did I go into the wrong shade? Oh God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I went into the right shade. I hope. I know this is the right shade. Yeah, I think I did. This is going to be our transition. And I hope these shadows don't have a lot of fallout because um, I did my base first. And what I was thinking 
is that I can pump up this challenge by whatever this look looks like, regardless of if it turns out nice or if it does not, I'm forced to go out of my home in public in this, this look, preferably to a store to run some errands and that whichever child picked this or like my youngest child picked these palettes or whatnot. If I get a compliment on my eyeshadow look by a random stranger, I'm forced to buy her a toy or buy her a snack or buy her something from the store that we're in. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. Hopefully this look doesn't turn out crazy with like an orange or something on my lid. But we're done with the... And if you have these palettes and you wanna do this with me, grab those palettes that I chose. You'll know the number and we can create this together. But this is my transition, the number 15 shade from the Morphe 35XO. And that actual shade name is, got it right the first time, Met Online. So that is the shade that I use next. We're gonna go find shade number 24 here. I'm gonna change my brush, so. Two hours later. 24 is a shimmer. Oh gosh. Okay. 24 is this pretty gold color right here. Um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put it on my lid because it's a shimmer. That's what I'm thinking. And I always use my finger. So I hope that I don't run into number eight or number two from the next two palettes aren't, well, I know that, the, okay, this might work. Cause no, I know number eight came from the Too Faced Just Peachy palette and that's a full matte palette. So this might actually turn out to be pretty. Um, this gold shade here, I'm gonna use my ring finger and we're gonna put that on the lid. Why did I just say? Yeah. Wow. And I'm just gonna kind of focus it on the center. I'm not gonna go too far here and I'm not gonna go too far here because hopefully number eight in the um, Too Faced is something that I could kind of blend the ends out with. I'm going a little too high with this color. Oh, so I'm gonna blend it back out. Let me get my brush that I used and kind of go over that because I didn't want to go up that high with this shade. So I'm gonna buff that out as much as I can. I think this is pretty fun, pretty, pretty fun. Cause you just don't know what you're gonna come up with. So I that is on to the Too Faced palette. It was number eight. So we're gonna go across, of course. One, two, three, one, two, four. Okay, duh, Courtney, slow down. Slow down, it was not that hard. And the shade ended up being just ripe. So that's what I'm gonna take here and here. And I'm using this flat like packer brush. This is a pigmented shade, so I don't know. You know what? This might actually end up being a really pretty look. Cause I did not expect. To get like a, a neutral brown, sultry, gold, like glam look, cause I like those looks anyway. Um, so Morgan picked some good palettes. I was scared. And I'm trying to think what number two is just off the top of my head in the Dominique Cosmetics. I hope it's like a shimmer shade because this look needs it in a corner. Yeah. 
So this is just right. From the, I hope y'all can't hear my, my dog wants to get out. Well, the puppies, my Pomeranian have puppies. They're about seven weeks now. And I think they want to get out. Y'all, this is so pretty. Like I would have never thought to put these shades together, but this is turning out really pretty. Let me just blend this together. I mean, no, we might be getting somewhere. Okay, that is that. Lastly, we're gonna use the Dominique's Cosmetics and. Uh -huh. So we're going to use number two going this way, which is this one. It's, it's a metallic, but it's not like what I would like for like an inner corner. So I'm trying to think, what will I do? Do I want to stamp this on my lower lash line? No, I don't. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go for it and I'm just going to use it as an inner corner. I mean, I don't really know what else to do with this color other than to add it here. And this is not the right brush. I didn't bring a brush that I could use. Of course not. Of course you didn't. This is this is hard because I don't have the right brush and my nails are too long. Like I'm not even gonna try. This is a pretty shade though, but it is a struggle. Mm. Trying to get it on just my inner corner. I am kind of taking it somewhat on that shade to bring it up a little bit higher. Blend it into that other just ripe shade. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I am surprised, excited, happy. Let me finish it off. I am going to finish it off with liner and this is the, I don't have it with me. I wanna say Queen. I got it in a boxy charm. I can't think of it right now. I'm gonna insert a picture of it or I'm gonna have the name of it on the screen. I got it in my boxy jar. My liner and my lashes, not lashes, mascara off camera. And then I'll come back with the completed look and then we will uh, finish out the video. Hey everybody, I'm back. Mascara is done, liner is done. So I use the um, Tarte Cosmetics Big Ego Mascara and I use the L'Oreal um, Voluminous Lash Primer. So I prime my eyes first let it sit and dry for a couple of seconds and then I use my mascara. But this is the look that I came up with. Y'all, this was fun. This is kind of smart. I mean, it took a lot of time to kind of like find the palette, find the number, but it takes the work out of, hmm, what shade am I going to pick? I thought this was really cool. If you guys enjoyed this video and you wanted to see me do this more, then definitely leave a comment down below and let uh, let me know you know that you like these videos give me a thumbs up um i really would like to start doing something new on this channel since i want my subscribers to feel like we're a family you know most youtubers they kind of name their subscribers or their fans or whatever 
a name so you know like Beyonce the beehive we know when they say the beehive what that is and I want you guys to have some type of connection with me because I really do appreciate you know your guys love and your support and so I want to give my subscribers a name and so my name is Courtney Ray and I was thinking hmm how can I incorporate that you know with my subscribers and I thought about sun rays like you guys are my sun rays so if you like that leave a comment down below saying yes we like the idea of sun rays and leave a actual sun ray so find an emoji and you know that you would like to use as oh, i'm so sorry my eyes itchy that's the mascara face i'm so sorry I told you that you would like a, a, a sun it could be a sun, it could be a sparkle, it could be a shooting star, like something that can symbolize sun rays and that will be the name for my subscribers. So if you would like to become a sun ray, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment yes with your emoji so I'll know that, hey, that's going to be the name for all of my subscribers and my supporters. And I, before I sign off, I want to do something. I want Morgan to see what she created because essentially she picked these palettes. She had something ticking in her mind as well. And I just want her to see her work that I created. Um, and I want you guys to see with me like her expression and everything. So hold on. Morgan. She's upstairs playing Fortnite. Y'all know how this goes. She's eight. Morgan! Come here real quick. Yeah. Come here real quick. Okay. And excuse her hair, y'all. I have not done her hair. It's wash day. She's natural. I'm about to wash her hair. So, her head looks a mess. Hey. So. You like it? Come yeah. here. It looks so cute. <laughs> She picked these colors. Well, not these colors. She picked these palettes. And I just want her to see what she created. And based upon her reaction, she likes it. You like it? It's pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was going to look like. I thought I was... But I didn't get a glitter. You wanted a glitter. But the it's numbers... Still, it still looks cute. It still looks cute. Thank you. The numbers didn't pick a glitter, but I think this turned out really, really pretty. So... If you guys want to see this on my channel more, I have two other girls, my daughters, uh, my middle one and my oldest, and they can pick these, can pick palettes for me and we can do this all over again. So before you leave, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see this uh, first video, the first challenge that I did where they actually did my makeup, I have a card up here where you all can see that whole situation. So this is like the part two continuation challenge and they just pick my palette so thanks for joining me thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye